Hey, fishing fanatics. Dan Herring here. My channel's Fish Den 365. Today I have a giant tackle warehouse unboxing. It's nearly a $500 order. Don't let my wife know that. This is it here, giant box. And we're going to do an unboxing and show you what we bought. You know, we're, we're coming into the mid-fall period now. Pretty soon it'll be winter before you know it. And there's some baits that I wanted to get for the fall season, but also summer and spring are behind us and I fished a lot of baits and uh, they need to be replaced over time so I fish a lot of the same kind of baits, soft plastics like sweet beavers and so oftentimes I'll place orders to replace them and I'd rather do that now than have to do it next spring or summer when I really want to be using those baits so I stock up the boathouse that I have during the winter months I usually organize it as best I can and then I'm ready to go for the spring and uh, of the following year. So let's show you what we got. Some, uh, I got a lot of new baits this time around. I decided I wanted to try some baits that I haven't tried before. And so there's some experimentation here. So let me pull out some of these. These are all the same here, it looks like. Yep, different colors. So this is a swim bait that I never fished before. It's called a jackal rhythm wave and I've heard some good things about this swim bait so I thought I'd give it a try. Let me open one up here and we'll show you what it looks like. Got various colors. It's kind of got a flat back and uh, a wider belly and then it's got the, the boot tail. Um, as you know I like to fish the Kitek Swing Impact Fat and you might be wondering well why would I buy these? Well there's a couple reasons. One is Eventually, fish get used to baits that are being thrown a lot, and that swing impact is an incredibly popular bait. So sometimes when that happens, fish get conditioned to the bait. I'm not saying that you won't catch fish on it. They still catch fish like crazy, and I'll still always have that as a mainstay in my box. But sometimes when fish get conditioned to certain baits like that, it's good to throw something a little bit different. This bait is similar to the swing impact, but it has a little bit of a different action. It's a little more subtle and it might be better in cold water. I don't know, that's yet to be determined. I'll be experimenting with these baits, but it's good to have something just a little bit different than what everybody else is throwing, which is why I bought these. So this one's called Bluegill White Pearl, and this is a 4.8 inch size. I'm sorry, a 3.8 inch size, sorry about that. Here's the 4.8 inch size. That's the uh, same color, Bluegill White Pearl. And then I've got 2.8 inch, so it's good to have these in various sizes. Got some more here. This one is called a Golden Shad. I really like the color on this bait. Let me show you what this Golden Shad looks like. So it's got that dark blackish back, and then it's got a lot of gold flash with a little bit of uh, uh, like a clear color with the gold flash in it. This could be really good on cloudy days or even when the sun is shining in water that might be a little a little bit of a tint to it. Looking forward to trying this color. I have a feeling it's going to be a good one. This one here is called Hollow, Ho Hollow Black. It's uh, got uh, black but with some fleck in there. So this would be a good one for nighttime or during dark days most likely. Then I got a couple of these dirty jigs guppy heads. So you, you probably saw me fishing the Matt Allen swim bait jig heads. These are meant for some of the smaller swim baits that the, the, the Matt Allen swim bait, the Matt Allen jig head would overpower. This is the Dirty Jigs guppy head. Smaller profile. This one's a 3 8 ounce, 3 aught hook. So uh, it's better for fishing some of those smaller Kitex and other swim baits. And I got them in an assortment of sizes, 3 8 ounce, quarter ounce, that kind of thing. So I also got, there's another one of these Rhythm Wave with the gold. I also got my share of more Swing Impacts. I had to uh, restock up. This one's Silver Flash Minnow, 3.8 inch, very good size. Bluegill Flash, that's one of my mainstays, that's 2.8 inch. 
Here's one called Gold Flash Minnow. Pretty similar to that uh, Rhythm Wave I just showed you. 3.8 inch bluegill flash. Here's one called Gobi in 3.8 inch. You can see I bought a lot of these swing impacts. And I bought, some, here's some other Rhythm Waves. Colors I already showed you, just different sizes, 2.8, 4.8. Say when you buy these kind of baits, the dollars add up quickly. Here's some one ounce Tommy Biffle hard head swinging jigs, otherwise known as the Biffle head or Biffle hard head. Here's a lure that I uh, want to pull out and show you. It's called a little creeper. And it's a sunfish imitator. This one's going to be good in spring and early summer. So here it is. This is just a very soft sunfish profile. You can stick a jig head in it. But the thing that's unique about this is it's very well balanced. If you get the jig head in it right, when it goes to the bottom, it actually sits like this. It sits on the bottom belly, belly down, just like a sunfish might if it was just laying on the bottom or feeding. And these fins are ultra realistic. They're very soft and they, it doesn't take much for them to move around. I'm telling you, I'm going to catch fish on this bait wherever sunfish are a mainstay. And uh, that's a lot of the lakes I fish. Okay. We'll put these down right here, but man, they are super soft. I can't wait to fish this bait. Uh, you know, we're at Possum Lodge right now. Shahola Lake's right down the road. This will work at Shahola. Possum Lodge is just three minutes from Shahola Lake, so it's kind of a good deal. 20 minutes from Lake Wall and Paw Pack, 15 minutes from Fairview. That's nice. Okay, so let's see what else we've got here. All right, we got some a, new, a bait I haven't fished before from Zoom that I understand is a very good bait. I'll pull one out of the package to show you. This is called a Super Salt Plus Z-Craw. This is a Z-Craw Kind of reminds me of some of the baits that you would see of uh, Strike King uh, with their Rage series, the way these uh, legs are. But uh, nice bait, it's got a, uh, a lot of ribs to move water, it's got slits for easy hook setting, and then it's got these tails and some antennae. I'll be experimenting with these uh, for sure next year, maybe a little bit this fall yet, depending on where I fish. And we've got some Reaction Innovation Sweet Beaver is one of my favorite baits to fish, especially in the summertime. This is a color called Payback. If you haven't fished Payback, you might want to try it. It's a good color. Everybody has their favorite colors when it comes to those kind of baits. And I would suggest to fish what you have confidence in because that's the color you're going to catch fish with. This is another uh, Z-Craw. This one is uh, watermelon candy, so a different color. The other one I showed you was black sapphire, so this is the watermelon candy color. Uh, this is uh, another good bluegill imitator right here, or a crawfish imitator. These are going to be good. Might be good on a sea rig, too, or on that biffle head, biffle bug, biffle hardhead. Could be a good bait. All right, what else do we got in here? So we got a number of crankbaits, Strike King crankbaits. Here's one, uh, here's a really nice yellow perch pattern. Gizzard Shad, smaller one. Orange Belly Craw, pretty cool color there. Just different uh, square bill crankbaits. I'll be using those uh, maybe this fall, certainly next spring. I got a uh, Demiki Vault. This is a blade bait. It's a very good blade bait. This color here is called Hollow Real Shad. So it's got a shad color. And I got some more dirty jigs, guppy heads here. This is a heavy cover swim jig. I got another one that's a, another color. I'll show you that when I get that out. Uh, here it is. Boy, they staple the hell out of these things, but I want to pull it out so you can see it. 
All right. That right, wasn't so bad. So this is the Hack Attack Heavy Cover Swim Jig. This is supposed to be thrown in lily pads, that kind of stuff. Um, it has a keeper, bait keeper here to keep your uh, trailer on. And the line tie is at the nose of the bait but on top. And the reason for that is so that if there's cover, it'll hit that cover but then go over it because the line tie's on top. So uh, it comes through pads nicely. I'm looking forward to, th to throwing this uh, swim bait jig head in heavy cover. Might be doing that uh, in November in the pads at Naka Mixon if they still remain. This will be a good option there. All right, what else? Another square bill, little perch color, smaller bait here. Some more swing impacts, bluegill flash, 3.8 inch size. Another one, same color, same size. This one is called Perch. I'll show you this one, it's 3.8 inch. Uh, I'm gonna catch fish on this. Look at that. It's got that greenish perch colored belly and a dark top. This one's gonna catch fish. Three point eight inch. Another three point eight inch rhythm wave. Matt Allen swim jig, swim bait and <laughs> jig head. Not sure that came out of the package. That happens sometimes. Here's uh, more Biffle hard heads, same size, one ounce. Here's a bait that I haven't fished before. It's a lot like a Zoom brush hog. If you like the brush hog, and I do, it's a great bait. This is a good follow-up to that. This is called a man bear pig. And uh, it's got the brush hog profile, but it's got ribs and it's a little softer, a little bit different. It's just a little something different and it's more subtle too. It's smaller, these arms are smaller on the front. But uh, it's good to have a bait that's similar to something that's catching fish, but yet just a little different. Sometimes that can make a difference when fish get conditioned. You hear me say that a lot, and my experience tells me that that is very true. So the man bear pig, looking forward to fishing it. I heard a lot of good things about it. So here's another one here, same bait. Here's the other uh, Matt Allen swim bait head. This looks like a three quarter ounce. Yep, three quarter ounce. It's falling out of the package, it's so heavy. I got a lot more in here yet, guys. So bear with me. More, <laughs> more cranks. I went a little crazy on the square bills. This is another perch pattern square bill. They're just different sizes, different depths. This is a probably a gizzard shad. Yep, gizzard shad. That's great shad profile. That white back and white sides, black back and belly, white belly. Another Z craw watermelon candy. Showed you one of those already. Here's one I haven't showed you. This is called a Yamamoto Cowboy, and I have uh, a lot of interest in this bait. I'll show you why. I like this flat profile, and look at the size of those tails. It reminds me of the old six-inch double tail. You can't get the six-inch double tail Yamamotos anymore. They don't make them, but they make this Cowboy, and so it's got a little bit of these flappers, a little bit more action, plus it's got those great double tails. I'm telling you, well, this is this is going to catch big fish on the back of a jig. You could also just fish it uh, weedless with a with a uh, bullet head uh, weight in front of it. But man, it's going to be a good trailer for me. This is smoke with purple, blue, and blue and green, and it's got a lot of colors in it. Uh, bluegill pattern. Fish can also think that's a crayfish. Oh, another swing impact. Boy, I got a lot of these, but I needed to restock, and uh, this one's another perch color. Glad I got two. I forgot that I did. Another uh, heavy cover swim jig. Boy, it's like a bottomless box. Here's another man bear pig. I want to show this one to you because it's a cool color. It's called hematoma. So uh, I get I like the hematoma beavers. It's got that black and blue profile. So when the water's a little dingy or dark. Boy, oh boy, I think this thing's gonna catch fish. Can't wait to fish the man bear pig. Have not fished it yet. 
Looking forward to fishing that. I know it's gonna catch fish. Here's a nice chartreuse black back. Anytime you got dirty or muddy water, this is the square bill color that is really good. More hard heads, one ounce. Another pack of beavers. More 3.8 inch rhythm waves. I got a lot of them, I didn't realize I bought this many. More man bear, man bear pigs in the hematoma color. More sweet beavers. Another pack here of the cowboys. This is in baby bass color. Baby bass is a good color. I like the little gold fleck in it. <laughs> oh man, I'm getting excited just looking at all this stuff. Here's a uh, guppy, more guppy jig heads from uh, Dirty Jigs. Some more guppies, just a smaller size. Black and blue flake man bear pigs. I'm sorry, cowboys, cowboys, not man bear pigs. Losing my mind. All right, what else is in here? Holy moly, here's a lighter jig head from uh, the guppy jig head from, from Dirty Jigs. This is a uh, jerk bait from Jackal called a re-range. Pull this out for you. Check that color out. It's got that chromish sides with a little bit of blue and a black back. I like the color. Um, some people like this re-range, some people don't. I'm gonna give it a try and see if I like it or not. The only way to know for yourself is to experiment with it and fish it. Um, I always feel I don't have enough time to do these kind of things, but they're important to do. It's important to experiment, try new baits, try different things. Always try and, and grow your repertoire and your expertise in fishing different baits. Don't settle on one thing. Become more versatile. You'll be a better fisherman for it. So here's some more of the Matt Allen swim bait heads. I've got a half ounce, more three quarter ounce, and then some tiny guppy heads here. We're getting down to the bottom now, folks. More Matt Allen heads. This is another um, heavy cover swim jig, hack attack. 7 16 ounce biffle head, biffle hard heads. Same. Another rhythm wave, 2.8. I won't be running out of swim baits anytime soon. Almost there now. Some more rhythm waves, some more guppy heads. <laughs> Smaller size black and chartreuse. This is a KVD 1.5. This one was the 2.5. Just for different depths. Here's another guppy head, probably 3 8 ounce. Yep. Another Demiki Vault. And then along with the order, I got a $5 uh, sweatshirt. A uh, nice Tackle Warehouse sweatshirt. I wanted the orange, but they only had gray in my size. I'll be checking it out, make sure it fits. And that's it. We got to the bottom of the endless box. I hope you enjoyed that video and got something out of this. This is a, a very large purchase for me. I usually don't make purchases this big, but I was due to restock for next summer and prepare for this fall and early winter. I won't be throwing the square bills so much in the winter, but a lot of these swim baits I will be throwing, a lot of the jig heads I will be throwing, and I'll certainly be throwing these vaults and other uh, blade baits like it. So a little bit of everything here, uh, but these are baits that I, I, you know, I haven't fished all of them, but I know enough about a lot of them to have a lot of confidence. For example, I can tell you right away, I'm gonna catch fish on the cowboy. I can tell you right away, I'm gonna catch fish on the man bear pig too. Uh, I just know it. I just know based on what I'm seeing on those baits, based on my experience, and and uh, my confidence is running real high on that already. Also, I can't wait to fish this. This is that uh, little creeper bait that I was telling you about, the All-American Sunfish. This thing, uh, it's going to catch some nice fish, and I'm looking forward to throwing it. Well, if you enjoyed that video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that ding dong, hit that bell. That'll, that'll give you a notification for when my next video is coming out. I'll get this one up and out very soon. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, subscribe, share it with your friends. My channel's Fish Den 365. We're certified bassified, and may God bless your fishing endeavors.